Hello, it's Sarah, and I have something new today. I've been getting my Etsy store situated and, um, you know, figuring all that out. And was searching around and looking at some of the things that people have in Etsy, which is a lot of stuff. But I came across a woman. Her stuff is the most amazing little creations ever. So her name is Eva Thyssen. T-H-I-S-S-E-N and she has a shop on Etsy and she makes these little charms that are the most beautiful little things ever and her technique it's with polymer clay and her technique is called applique technique so of course I had to get on YouTube and see if there are any tutorials out there about this and the only thing I could find was by uh, Renee. Now, Renee is Piper Pixie Designs on Etsy as well. She has a shop, but thankfully, um, she was great enough to do a tutorial, and so I played around and made some stuff. So, I don't think I'll be selling this on Etsy, but I'm trying to work with the clay and figure out a way. I'm probably going to try and do a few light switch covers, and possibly other maybe cover some boxes and things like that because there's a, quite a few um, charms and things on Etsy already um, and I just really honestly if I were going to get it I would get put the 50 bucks out and get the real deal this Eva, Eva Thiessen is from Germany and her pieces are just incredible so anyway um just playing but I wanted to show you what I did this one um kind of this was my very first piece and I didn't even I didn't know where my bezels were at the time so I kind of just was playing with my clay and made some dome shapes and um, this one was all black clay and I used the mica powders to color the leaves and the um, flowers so that's a little dark um, and there were crystals sitting right in front of me I came down after the Super Bowl and just winged it um, but that was my first very first then this was my second so I grabbed a little pink clay and some green and just played with making petals and also the leaves like doing the elongated ones so that turned out pretty good this is my like first try at that these were like actually really 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 small pieces of clay so I think I went a little bigger then I got I found my um I had some bezels uh, I found them and so I played with them but I also did this piece which I really love um, I'm gonna put uh, a little heart on the back of that and make that into a pendant um, but this one is a little bit bigger it's almost twice the size of doing a bezel and I think it's just easier to work with for me like when it's so small it's hard to kind of get a design um, and have everything fit the way you want it to like if you're if you start making your pieces of clay too big then you know it, it's going to take up the piece a lot quicker so these were just this was a cookie cutter shape that I just domed up I have this circle one and I'm going to try this leaf shape too I'm going to do that I'm going to do I'm going to play with those tomorrow because I'm out of bezels <laughs> but I also have to get um I burned these you can see there's like a, a dark line kind of across the blue um, and I love this piece too. This was like daisies and I really love that but I kind of burned it and this one got burned too. You can see it on the blue there um, because I put and then I went and put this one in as they were coming out I put this one in so this one of course got burned. You can see that right on the white um, but then I realized that it was burnt so I started covering everything so nothing else got burned. This one is another bezel that I did. I think this one is kind of cool, but I don't know how the colors are working out. Like this is a dark green background. And I mean, I think everything's showing up pretty well, actually. These colors didn't go too bad, but that's always the problem I have, figuring out the colors. This is kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a lavender piece of lilac or something. I don't know what the flowers are, like chrysanthemums. Most of them look like chrysanthemums. Like this looks like then I squished this one. I didn't even realize it till after it was baked. Kind of squished, but 
I'm playing. I'm for, I like this technique, like making the squiggles and kind of putting buds down the squiggle. So I like that. I'll play with that again. Like then once I get all these ideas out, I'll kind of go with my favorites. This is like one of my favorites. I redid the daisies and it didn't get burned, but it's a little bit smaller. So I didn't fit as many. And, but it didn't get burned. I also use like these little tiny seed beads and these are gold obviously, but they looks like it bakes off and now they're silver. <laughs> so I did that one that turned out pretty good. I hope this is in focus and this is my favorite. These two are my favorite. I think I like the multi colors and stuff like that. I think that attracts me. Um, so this one is just like a bunch of colors and I filled the entire bezel to, I mean the entire dome with color and stuff. So I think that's kind of what I like best. Um, you know, it's the design is important and it's, it's hard for me. Like that's why I'm a copycat. So I've taken some pictures of the pieces on Etsy and stuff. I really wanted to make a bird like sitting on one of these branches and I could not make a bird that small. I just couldn't do it. It didn't look like a bird. So that's why I was thinking of going a little bit bigger. Um, and that way, you know, I don't know if you can still do the technique because you actually use a toothpick and this one has, well, I don't have a toothpick handy. Yes, I do. The toothpick is what makes these little indents so you just take your toothpick and stick it in and so I'll have to find a bigger tool um, maybe like a, a skewer stick you know like for to do kebabs or something would work better with a bigger piece but um, I don't know I was just playing having fun oh I did glaze these by the way and I just used this fantastic glazing glue I actually got this at a vendor at Beadfest it's by craftfantastic.com. So I think that's where I got these bezels too. So, I mean, it was a couple years ago at a, um, a beach show. But I just wanted to share those. Um, I'm still playing. I'm, um, I kind of want to get back into the paper crafting. There's a couple swaps going on at Art and Sassy that I'm thinking about joining, but I'm still figuring out new stuff. I have a couple resin pieces in the works and, you know, little stuff here and there I'm playing with and figuring out so I'm like learning new things at the moment so that's it for now guys thanks for watching